everyone, and welcome back. My name is Nicholas, this is Major Crit. And as you can see, we are seeing things in an entirely different way than previously. Oh, with the power down, or the Metro is just yep, going to be able to get out. Yep. Yep. They're going to be a pain, aren't they? Alright. Luckily, we do have these super missiles. But we're in the dark, um, which is why we've got to be using our new thermal visor. Let's us see enemies in the dark. We'll let us see other things as well, hopefully. Alright. I'm just waiting for more of those guys to pop out at me. Okay, there's one up there. Is that a scan? What it? What is that? Um. Door has no power. A nearby power conduit must be energized for it to open. A blast of electrical energy will energize the conduit. Okay, and it radiates heat. So we just need to get our lightning gun on, our wave beam. A hard time figuring out. Now we've got all these different things I have to do using essentially the same buttons. Getting a bit mixed up on um, how to do things quickly. Mechanoid. Sentry drone. Well armed and armored security mecha. So sentry drones have limited intelligence but do their assigned tasks well. Being a machines are susceptible to electrical attacks. When alerted drones initiate a security lockdown and then attempt to neutralize the intruder. Their electronic warfare suit can scramble visor technology as well. So that's why... So I think still having the heat on. Now that definitely makes it worse. Yeah. Should I just be the doors have been unlocked? Sweet. Alright. Yeah, so they definitely make it harder to see when you're using the thermal visor. Okay, who do we have here? And missiles are just the best against these guys. Oh. They are definitely tougher though. Are they the stealth guys? I'm assuming they're the stealth guys. Oh, you came back. And you don't produce heat. You should produce heat, at least when you're in action. I see you there. Where are you going? Why are you running away from me like that? I'm glad I picked up all those missile upgrades. They make this a lot easier. What's that sound? Is that just you? Are they just... Do they just bang around and make sound to scare you if you're in the dark and can't see them? Yeah. So luckily, even if I can't see the rocket launchers very well, um, my you know little targeting reticle still focuses in on them, which makes them easy to um, well you know, but gives me the head up that something is there, even if I can't see it very well. Certainly can't see colors very well. Um, yeah, just double checking now and again, like can I? See it? Oh, I think we're about to go outside. Hopefully that'll at least make it easier to... Okay. Yeah, that just seems like the best way to take care of them, right? It costs five missiles, but they have a tendency to drop these big missile refills anyway. Oh, we've got some boxes here to pick up other things. Yeah, back to full health already. And we're almost at full um, and all the other stuff. Alright, are we going to have light in this section? 
Not much. I keep trying to... I've got to hold down the button. I've got to hold down X and use the D-pad for some stuff, but not for others. Okay, what's making noise? So, something I can ignore right now, I think. Let's go ahead and hit up a safe spot. Just in case. You never know. Also, let's just get back to full health. And saves us from any uh, unfortunate situations that might happen. Ouch. How did I do that? the worst. I'm surprised that this isn't making more light, you know, and lighting up the room. Man, I really remember... Um, the sound that this visor makes. Like, it creates a constant background noise that I always thought sounded like Yum Yum 3 Fight It Out. What am I fighting? What am I doing? I don't know. It's really hard to see. Probably should be fighting... Ugh. Man, I really don't know. My vision is so bad there. Um, whether it's better to fight with thermal visor on or off, you know, in the dark or blurry. What's the best option? I just dodged into that. I need to remember that I can, when locked on, do a little side dodge thing. Hello? Let me just, um, give you the, you know, preemptive hello. Should be hitting them with the way being to start them off. Rather than the um oh. missile. I think it does more damage and does a stun. I do sometimes dodge it though. banging sound. I don't like it. What was all the security when I was coming in this place, by the way? Oh, those guys turn invisible. I didn't even notice because we've just been fighting with the thermal visor on, you know, no matter what. Okay, let's just, there's too many of these guys in close quarters. Let's, you know, back away, do some, some bunny hopping. What's that, man? Lots of these guys. I don't even know where I am in the room. Here, I think that's a missile refill. Probably need some of that. Why are my rockets just like not homing in like they used to be? Yeah, it's like just against that one guy for some reason. The rockets just did not want to do their job. Um, what was this room? Map station. All right, so we don't care about that. So we want to keep the visor on, even if there's no, um, if we can see the light. All right. I think we should be safe now. Well, not safe safe, but you know, we are no longer in the Space Pirate base. 
so I think I can breathe now. <laughs> All right. Um. Ooh, yeah. I forgot that those were like the stealth guys turn invisible, but since they force you to use the um, thingy beam, thingy visor the whole time anyway. All right. So is there? Okay. So that had a. That was a thing, right? Cordite. What damage is Cordite? Is it Super Missile? Yes, it's Super Missile. Okay, why... Why did we do that? Ah. Okay, so we see that. Okay, so we've got to do multiple things here. Okay, now where does this lead? Oh, to a boss room. An obvious boss room. Oh, no. Yeah. Sorry. It's it's the same buttons to switch between your visors and your other stuff, which is messing me up. Yeah, so I don't like how low I am on missiles, especially since I'll probably need to use them to fight whatever boss is coming up here. Well, I guess we'll see. Nice little boost ball escape there. Alright. This is it, right? Giant, obvious arena shaped room. Of course it is. Alright, who are you? Is it something in the rocks? Oh, yeah! I remember this guy now. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to be getting the spider ball, because we can't get out of here without the spider ball. Yep. Yeah. There's also a grapple point up there. Multiple grapple points. The golem, isn't it? Which is a weird enemy compared to everything else we've been fighting. There's something golemic. Earth elemental sort of thing. More classic in a fantasy than sci-fi, but we get a bit of cross over here. What are you? A Thardis, an animated sentient creature of stone charged with phase-on radiation. The phase-on radiation given off by Thardis negates auto-targeting systems, preventing lock-on. It may be possible to acquire alternate targets with a different visor. Oh look, we only have one other visor other than our scanner. The chaotic nature of phase-on irradiation leads to instability in its structural integrity. Thardis can encase targets in ice. Its colossal size and strength make it a formidable opponent. All right, so we want um, that. All right. Okay, no. Uh, no. Again. Oops. Yeah. Oh, you've been frozen. Oh. I wonder. Can I hit that thing with a super missile? Well, probably I can hit it with a super missile. I guess my question is, is hitting it with a super missile going to be super effective? Oh. Okay. So was that me? St no, I've shot super missiles before. So that might have been overkill. It looks like it's kind of a two-stage process, right? Where I need... So I need to find what its weak point is, hit that weak point until it's exposed, and then go back to the normal vision and uh, destroy the weak point. Okay, let's wait for him to get a clear shot. I keep wanting to press um, like the shoot button. Can I hit him when he's like this? Oh. Where are you going? Oh, hey, is that an upgrade in there? No, that's just a light. There we go, okay. Nope, okay. the problem with the super missile is that it uses up a lot of resources, and if I do it poorly... Oh, ouch. Um, then I waste them all because it, you know, his other hand gets in the way or whatever. I should probably then focus on low-cost attacks 
that when I'm uncertain about my ability to actually target the weak point. Well, I can target it, but you know, actually hit the target without it hitting anything else. Ouch. I'm doing pretty good for health though. So specifically when he turns away from me. Alright, yep, does not like the super missile. Okay, yeah, so just two super missiles gets the job done. Um hey, show me your weak point. What are you doing? Oh, creating a lightning storm. Um, nope, still nothing. But what is he doing? Ah, okay. So he's just somehow that electricity called down like an ice storm, which I feel like that should also get in the way of my ability to. Um, and I've only got one batch of super missile left. One short of being able to shoot two. Really should have been more careful earlier on, or at least, you know, come into this place with full ammo. Oh, now this is a problem. I managed to dodge your shot that time. That's the problem. I've been focusing all on offense as well, uh, and like nothing on defense. Okay, that's a. Easy shot to call. Okay, I might super missile this final one because that seems really easy to hit. Okay. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, I was frozen. Okay. Nice. He's doing that attack. I flubbed it, but that could have allowed me to. I'm just not dodging anything, am I? It's like I'm randomly jumping around trying to... Okay, I think I'm hitting it. Even when he's in roly-poly form. Yep, yep, definitely hitting it even while he's in roly-poly form. Okay, how many more of these rocks I gotta break? Wish. Oh, I guess I do have another super missile, don't I? I'm gonna wait and use it once I've broken through this stage. Because, yep, there we go. Did that do it? Nope. Must have hit something else. Not ideal. Is he creating more of those boulders? Ah, it's so hard to see anything. Which I suppose is the entire point, isn't it? Okay. Broke it. What you got going on now? Okay, smack in the ground. Another ice or lightning storm. Alright. But the snow's gone, mostly, which is nice. Means I can actually see what I'm doing, even without the thermal visor on. Okay, now is that. This looks like his like, core, like his torso rock. Our last one. It's really hard to tell because I don't think I'm gonna have to destroy like every rock to defeat him. Oh. But yeah, that one looks pretty core, cool, pretty central. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna let him do that. I've got exactly enough missiles for one more super missile. Let's see if we can end him with that. Thardust. Gonna turn you into Stardust. And there you go. Super missile to the rescue. Alright. What's making that sound, by the way? How is how is he creating noise? Because it's not from any sort of throat. <laughs> Dunk. It's not like the rocks rubbing against each other or something. Friction-based noise. Ooh. Yeah, I'm guessing that's going to be a magnet ball, given what's all around this arena. Ah, uh, we've been waiting for this forever. What did they call it? The spider ball? Climb ball? Spider ball, that's what they call it in this game. I think this shows up in a couple of different games, and they might have different names for it. Press and hold ZL when in morph ball mode to attach the spider ball tracks. Nip, yep, yep. So we can go. Ah, I see. That makes us attach. All right. But we've got to attach somewhere useful. If we want to get somewhere useful. Specifically, I think we want to go up there. So we want to latch on here. Man, there's so many places we need to return to now. So many times I've seen these little tracks around the place. Um, there's that thing at the end of the Magmore Caverns had some of this. Um, there's, I think, a couple different spots in the um, uh, Chozo Ruins. I think I could... Let me just... Yeah, so we can drop off like that. And I believe... Yeah. So we, we can make ourselves bounce off the track a bit by using a bomb like that. Which allows you to... Um, make small jumps without having to, you know, get off the track. Ooh, and that looks like something, but we'll have to grapple over there. Nope. Man, how am I still this bad at um, going back and forth between the different modes? Ouch, I just took all of those shots. Alright, so this is different. It looks, it looked similar to somewhere that we'd come in here. Ah, Magmore Caverns. Um, let's see, and that looks like something we can't get through yet. Yeah, I saw the white, white door on the wall. All right. So, Magmore Caverns, maybe this is behind that area where we would have had to spider ball to get there? Let's take a quick peek and see where this is leading us. The world is becoming more and more interconnected. And a lot of it's through the Magmore Caverns. Magmore Caverns seem to be this sort of underground network of tunnels that connects up a lot of the game. Oh, wrong button. Um, let's see. Yeah, alright. So we... Is that going to be a save room? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so presumably we'll reach up somehow to the other Magmore Caverns. Maybe this will just lead us off to a different space. I forget how many different zones there are in this game. Um, no, I didn't want to do that. I got confused about the, uh, like, it's giving us all these warning things. Like, does this actually deal damage? Hmm. Maybe not. Anyway, I guess we're going to have more stuff to discover as we continue through here. Down a, a fiery chasm. But, um, we'll call that quits for today. Um, yeah. Just always more to explore, always more to go to. Um, I'm very excited for it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.